thank you. So Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit are not God. Do you agree? They are not part of the Godhead. You don't even know what the Messiah is going to do. You don't know what he's going to do. What's he going to do? He's going to kill everyone, isn't he? All his enemies. Now he's come to save. By killing them? He's going to make his enemies his footstool. What does that mean? My friend, you have no idea what the Holy Spirit is telling you. Do you believe that? What I believe that? No, I don't believe Jesus is coming to kill everyone. No, you believe he's coming to save those who are lost? Yes. He came for the same purpose before, did he not? I have not come except to the lost sheep of Israel. Are you the lost sheep of Israel? Yes. Are you? Well, the Jews are. But are you a Jew? I'm circumcised. I like the way he quickly said yes. You know, all these wannabe I, Jews I Jew. don't know what a Jew is. A Jew well. You're a Jew? By what? By race? Or by faith? What are you a Jewess? Tell me. You don't even know what a Jew is, do you? How are you? Wait a minute. I really want to know how are you a Jew. Ah, that is Paul's statement. Did Jesus say this? To circumcise the heart? By the way, was Jesus circumcised? Of the heart or of the flesh? Flesh. Whom do you follow? Paul or Jesus? Well, the circumcision. Answer the question. Whom do you follow? The example of Paul or the example of Jesus? By the way, Paul was also circumcised as a Jew. So Paul himself, the guy who says circumcision of the heart, was himself circumcised. Yeah, that's very funny. It's not funny. It's a fact. You might find it funny. But you see, by the way, you know what? The circumcision... I know you're trying to get to this, but... What? By the way, you brought up the circumcision, not me. You're the one who claimed to be a Jew. But you're not. But you're not. You're not a Jew. Just because you say I circumcised the heart. So who, who appointed you as a Jew? Or who gave you this status of a Jew? Do you think if you go to the synagogue, they'll accept you as a Jew? I didn't say. Just going to the synagogue doesn't make you a Jew. But if you ask them over there, am I a Jew? What will they say to you? What? They will say prove it. How will you prove it? Well, because they're Jews, they will yeah. say prove by the flesh. But, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I'm not a Jew. well, what do you mean prove by the flesh? I'm not are, you, are you referring to circumcision? Are you referring to circumcision? Because if that was the only way to prove someone a Jew, yes, then the Muslims are also circumcised because it's part of their faith as well. They are, don't you know? By the way, you know circumcision in flesh was a covenant given to whom? Isaac, Jacob. It's a covenant Not given. Ishmael. Wait, no, 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 no. Who was the first one in the house of Ishmael who was circumcised? Sorry, in the house of Abraham. Let's see if he knows his Bible. Who was the first one circumcised? Why are you quiet now? You see, the reason you're quiet is because you know you have just spoken a lie now. Yes, you said it's a covenant for Abraham, Isaac, and who said Jacob? You did not mention Ishmael. In fact, you said categorically, not for Ishmael. No, no, no. But you know, in the house of Abraham, yeah, yeah. Well, in the house of Abraham, you know who was the Ishmael, first one circumcised? Was blessed, I know. No, no, who was circumcised first? That was the question. Ishmael. No, Abraham was. After Abraham, who was the second one? Who was the second one circumcised? Was it Isaac or was it Jacob? No, no. no Ishmael, it was Ishmael. Ishmael. So this man here, he Ishmael lied by blessed. saying that it was... Ishmael is blessed, but... What do you mean blessed? But, blessed, by, but, blessed by a woman. But Isaac yeah? is a child of promise. No. Ishmael was blessed by whom? Answer? Blessed by whom? How dare you want to be Jew want to take away that right of Ishmael? That he was blessed by God himself. He was blessed, he was blessed by God himself and you can't even say it. Want to be Jew? Nice try. So anyway, going back to the... Well, well, it is a fact. You tried to actually belittle Ishmael by saying first he wasn't even in the covenant. If he wasn't, then why would God bless him? Not only bless him, he said you'd be blessed with a great nation. He blessed the Arabs. I don't even mean the Arabs, right? But then he blessed the Arabs, right? No, no. He said he blessed because amongst Ishmael, you know, amongst the Arabs, you have the Arab. He's not a Jew. Ishmael is not a Jew. By the way, I never said I was an Arab. You're the one who said you're a Jew. So, you, <laughs> so, so don't put things on me, what you want to be. You're talking about Ishmael. 
Yeah, I'm talking about Ishmael because you brought him up. You said Ishmael wasn't given the covenant. And the covenant given to Abraham about circumcision. The point I wanted to make is this. The covenant given to Abraham was until the end of time. Have we reached the end of time? No, we haven't. But Paul has already done away with this covenant without even being given any authority by Jesus. To the end of time. No, he says the children of Ishmael, yeah. sorry, the children of Abraham will be blessed. Is, is Jacob. Jacob's life. Well, what did God that promise Jacob? Isaac. Isaac. Let's see if he knows that. What did God promise Jacob? What did he promise him? No, no, speak, speak to me. What did he promise him? You're not speaking to me. Why? Because you're talking to the Yes, I talked to them for a minute. Sure, you can. No problem. Look, do not take away from the Bible what has already been attributed to Ishmael. That he will be blessed with a great nation. It's obvious. Of course it's obvious. When did it become obvious that Ishmael was a great nation? When? When did it become obvious that he is a great nation? You know, before... Be God promised Abraham that... When did it become I when did it become it obvious? Is, when? My thing is I my thing is I believe that uh, through Jacob, right? Isaac will be the, the child of promise. Child so, promise? What do you mean child promise? Promise what? Promise, promise what? Well, you're the one who brought it up. You should at least know what you're talking about. I, want to, I don't want to go through the whole history. You don't need to go whole history. Just tell me what he was promised. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll tell you what was promised to Ishmael. Ishmael was supposed, according to God, he blessed him with a great as a great nation. Yes? Now when did he become a great nation? Before the advent of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yes? The people of Kedar who are the Ishmaelites, yes? You agree with that? The people of Kedar were basically nomads, no one, not very important. But after the advent of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this prophecy, which was foretold in the book of Isaiah and other books, that they will be in the that they'll be made a great nation, was fulfilled in the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And after, which tells us, which tells us that this great nation became a great nation after the advent of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is a proof and a testimony to his prophethood that he, through him, they became a great nation. Abraham sent Hagar and Ishmael away, but they will be blessed as a nation. Of course they will be blessed. Yes. I agree with that. Yes. But also, they have to read up all these Muslims, they have to read up about Isaac. We have no problem accepting Isaac as a prophet. Right. By the way, he is a prophet in our Jacob faith. Will be blessed yes. As a child of promise, Isaac right, will be blessed as a, also as a great nation, but in a different way. How? What is great? Chosen race. Yes. A chosen race. Yes. Chosen generation. Chosen for what? Chosen to speak God's word. Chosen to kill the Messiah. Who killed the Messiah, by the way? Okay. Are you going to answer that? Okay. Okay. The, what right. happened? That's right. the, the Jews killed Messiah, right? How is that? The how Romans, is that a great the nation? Also killed Messiah. Yeah, but who brought him to the court? But, but the, the Jews they would turn back to the Messiah. The, no, they the haven't. They reject him. They reject, they reject him. Is it the Muslims who accept him? Yes, they rejected him. But they will turn back in the last days. Ah, in the last days. In, in the book of Romans. The book of okay, Romans. so in the last days, we have a hope that they will turn back. Yes, because Jesus will come And back. what will happen to those who don't turn back? According to your second coming of Jesus, what happens to the people who reject Jesus? Go on. Answer. They reject Jesus. What happens to them? They will perish. How? Who will kill them? The Prince of Peace will massacre everyone who rejects him. In Isaiah 9 6, he 
does talk about the Prince of Peace, right? Yes. And he's also the mighty God. So the mighty God, the Prince of Peace, will come back as the Messiah. He will rule the whole earth and also he will gather up those who, who don't believe as well. Yeah. And there will be many who will disbelieve. Okay, so you think he's the Prince of Peace, right? What does Jesus say during his ministry? I've not come to bring peace. Yes, so the Prince of Peace is saying now, I've not come to bring peace. Remind me of the verse, do you know? Okay, it's, it's in Hebrews, I believe, or thereabouts. Okay, so yo, did Jesus come to bring peace? He, he brought peace in the, in the sense No, no, what did Jesus say? I didn't ask you if he brought peace. He brought peace in the sense that the Holy Spirit is a comforter. So the Holy Spirit is not Jesus, am I right? I probably think that Muhammad is the comforter. No, that's right. Do you believe the Holy Spirit is... I don't believe Wait a minute, let's, let, let, let's analyze that. Do you believe that the Holy Spirit is Jesus? Thank you. My question to you was, who is the Prince of Peace? Jesus. Did Jesus say he's come to bring peace? Or did he say, I have not come to bring peace? He's coming back. Right. So during his ministry, Messiah. shall we speak during his ministry? Right. No, during his ministry. Let me bring up that verse. During his because, ministry, yeah, did he come right. to bring peace? No, he, he's bringing about the soul. Right? So, but also, the, the angels of God said, peace, peace on earth. Right? Because, because he's come to save people. That's why he's bringing peace. Did he come to bring peace according to the words of Jesus? Okay, shalom. Shalom to you. Right? So don't tell me shalom now. Yes, shalom. <laughs> He's a proper one of Jew, this the guy. God of Israel. That's fine, no problem. And who's the God of Israel? The God of Israel. Who is the God of Israel? Yeshua HaMashiach. Yes, which is Jesus Christ, right? Yeshua. But according Yeshua. to Jesus Christ's own Yeshua. statement, is the, the God of yeah, he's saying, he's trying to say in Hebrew, he's saying Jesus Christ is the God of Israel. But Jesus' own statement in John 17, 3 says, the, you, the only true God, is the Father. So you see, Jesus is going against him. Like I said to you, the reason he didn't want to answer the question is for that. Over and over again, he asked me many, many times whether Jesus is God. I said yes. Oh. Is, there, is there many gods? No, there's only one. Two. Wait, wait, wait. So Jesus said he was God. When did he say he was God? You lied again. I just showed you. Where? Where did he say he was God? I showed him, I showed what? him in John. Very simple verse. He no, no, you said they asked him, are you God? And Jesus no, said yes. Show me where that statement is. He just made up a, a verse from the Bible. You see, this is what Allah says in the Quran. The that they, they actually alter their own scriptures. Okay, answer this question. Did Jesus say, I have not come for peace? Did he say this? Did he say, I have not come for peace? Good. Do you agree with that? Yes, I agree. So what kind of a prince of peace says, I have not come for peace? Those two Why not? You're the one who brought up Isaiah. I didn't. <laughs> he said, Isaiah says, the Prince of Peace, X, Y, and Z. When I asked him, what did Jesus say? He said, I've not come to bring peace, but I've come to turn the father against the, the child and the son and the son against the father. Yes. 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 This doesn't sound like peace to me. Yes. In the, in the yes. Sense, in, in At least the, Muhammad uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, so in the Quran, Allah says, He is Rahmatul Alameen. Yes? He is the one who is a mercy to mankind. And He shows mercy to mankind. When He had the ability to squash the pagan Arabs, yes? He did not do that during the conquest of Mecca. When He came with an army of 10,000, He forgave these people who were oppressing Him and His, and his people. But no. Yeah, but He also says to buy a sword. Yeah, yeah. Sell, your sell your cloak. If you don't have money, sell your cloak and buy a sword. Buy a sword. Why did he tell them to buy a sword? To cut vegetables? <laughs> no. So Why? don't tell me about Prince of Peace when at the end, during the second coming, he's going to destroy all his enemies. Yes? He's going to make them his footstools. He's going to kill the children of the, um, was it uh, the prostitute in Revelation? Yes? He's going to kill her children for her yeah, sin. Yes, the harlots, prostitutes, same word, yeah, semantics. That's, that's, that's a revelation. That's yeah. a, that's By the way, why is, why, is why is your God obsessed with killing children? It's a government. Why is your God, why is your God obsessed with killing children? understand the book of Revelation. Okay, explain Revelation to me. The seven spirits of God. A, Go on, let's see if you know that. Revelation, he's talking about one harlot, yeah. right? He's talking about a government, 
it's, that's why it's the book of Revelation. It's okay. to reveal something. You're, you're saying it's symbolic. So who's the harlot in that? Who's the harlot? Let's see if he knows that. Who's the harlot? Which government? Uh, the, harlot, the Trump government? The harlot sits on the beast. Sorry? No, no, you said the harlot is the government just now. No. Now you went to the beast. Make up your mind. It sits on the, on the beast. Okay, so who's the harlot? It's, it's, a, it's a certain people. Who are those people? People who adulterate. People? Who adulterate the word of God. Who adulterate the word of God? You mean like the Christians? Now, now he's just make, making a claim. No, I'm not. You're on. To offend, be, a, be offensive to Christians. No, it's not just the Christians. Okay. Shall I give you an example? You see, Shall I give you an example? No. If you think if you think I'm just making a claim, you see how then when, when the Christians bring up something, they offend. By the way, come in front of the camera. They can't see you. They, use, they, they can't see you. The guy who didn't want to be in front of the camera is all of a sudden talking to camera now. Because I was talking to someone else. I didn't ask to be filmed, right? It doesn't matter. Speaker's corner. We are. It's speaker's corner. Welcome. Look here. If you think the harlot is a set of people. No, no, that's fine. If you think, listen, listen. By the way, who is the harlot? Who, who is the harlot? You said a set of people who adulterate the word of God. Then who, is the, who are the children of these people? This harlot? The children, the the children means the literal children? Or is that metaphoric as well? So I say again? So the harlot is the devil and the children are the children of the devil. Follow the world, the system. Who follow, adulterate themselves. Who commit fornication in their sins, in their own lust, a drink of the, you know, all the things that are going on in the world. Yeah. And who are the children? People who don't follow the word of God. No, you already said these are the ones who don't follow. So the harlot is the one who basically do not follow the word of God and who adulterate his word. Who are the children of that harlot? It's, it's like a, a group, group of people. That it's the same thing, is that what he's saying? You don't even know what he's talking about, is it? Okay, fair enough. Look, the important thing is this. According to your Bible, yes, Jesus came. Did he come to preach the good news? Yes? By the way, do you believe in killing of children who are unruly? No, I don't think he should bring up the Old Testament and try to back the New Testament in that way. I don't, I don't think you should use that to argue with Christians. How do you know what I'm saying is in the Old Testament you're, you're, and not in the New Testament? You've got to use the Old Testament scripture and say, oh, the killing of all the children and why, why are you... By the way, this is Matthew chapter 15, the New Testament. Nice try, by the way. You know what Jesus says? Anyone who curses the mother or father is to be put to death. Matthew chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. And you know what he says before that? This is the command of God. Do you believe that? Yes. So you believe in killing children who are unruly? You have children? No, but... Do you have children? Have to put it in context. Yeah, let's put it in context. Do you have children? No. You don't have children. Do you know any children? Do you, no, that's fine. That's fine. He doesn't have children. That's, it doesn't matter. Do you, do you know any children? Do you know any children? You know any children? Do I know any children? Yeah. Is that a question? Yes. No, it's not a question. You don't understand the question? It doesn't sound like a good question. Okay, let me ask you a better question then. Do you know any children? Do you think it is... Of course. Do you, does anyone know children? Yeah, do you... Okay, that's fine. We know everyone knows children. That's fine. Do you think any child should be killed if they curse their parents? That's a question. That's a no, question. That's a question. No one in their right mind. Ah. No one in their right mind. 